But look at the posters. Yeah. Saturday dawned, bright and harsh. The cloudy light outside mirrored my gloomy mood as I quickly dressed and woke up my... Hey! Hi, it's time to get up! Morning. Ugh. Why? Video game competition, remember? We're playing Stupendous Stomping Sisters. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Stupendous Stomping Sisters today. My shot straight up out of her bed. <laughs> oh my god, Jared! I can hang out with Jared today! <laughs> she catapulted from the top of her bunk bed and sprinted out to the hallway. I heard crashes and shrieks as she massacred the other girls to get into the bathroom. The sun slowly rose through the window. <laughs> Everything would be just fine, right? Soon, my return. Fully dressed and raring to go. Hada. Come on, Hada, let's go. Why are they wearing their uniforms? They're still on school grounds, but it's the weekend. I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that in Japan, uh, the only day off is actually Sunday. I don't know. Why are they having a tournament on Saturday if they have school that day? I mean, logic. They're, they're going over there in the morning. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, she grabbed my hand and dragged me out into the campus commons. Her incessant tugging hurt, but I followed her silently. Even more strangely, she wasn't talking either. Our nerves had gotten the better of us both. We wandered the halls of the boys' dorm, making our way to 402. The dormitory itself smelled awful, like stale Dorito chips. I wondered how I never noticed it and realized this was the first time I came on a weekend. Yeah, so they are off today. Yeah, I guess so. So why would they wear their uniform? Why wouldn't you wear just a t-shirt and jeans or something? I don't know. You wanna play video games? Yeah. Rather than wandering campus all day for classes and clubs, most people were sleeping in or hanging out in the dorms. My slowed down as we climbed the stairs, staring at the floor. The closer we got, the slower we progressed. We opened up the fourth floor and crossed the hall. Finally, we stood in front of PBG and John's door. Um... You should knock. What? What? Me? You should knock. You got here first. Yeah, but you're their friend. <laughs> well, you know them better. <gasps> but you've got pink hair. <laughs> Is there a problem, ladies? We both froze, scents of ham wafted through the air. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that one for me. <laughs> yep. Good morning. Hello, ladies. Is there something wrong with the door? Oh, no, we just... <laughs> we didn't want to wake them up, in case they were still sleeping. <laughs> Jared let out a low-thirded laugh. I don't think they'd mind having you wake them up. My eyes almost rolled into the back of her head. Here, allow me. He leaned between us and tapped on the door. He was surprisingly tall, and being some ten inches shorter than him, he towered over me. He looked down at me and winked. Who well, is Hana? I, th I think they've said, but... I do not know. The door flew open. Hey. Hey, guys! Glad you could make it! We'll be a bit squished in here, but it's better than nothing. <sighs> what? We couldn't get a classroom this year? I jumped. Shane stood behind me, expressionless. I didn't even see him come. <laughs> yeah, turns out Hidden Block decided to book it for the same day. Wonder what for? <laughs> John snorted somewhere in the background. I'm not sure your room is better than nothing. Oh, Shane with the zingers. Hmm. That wasn't a zinger. <laughs> <laughs> are you just gonna stand outside or are you coming in? We stepped through the threshold, fully and completely entering PBG and John's room. Boy territory. We were out of our element. Mai had never been in the room before, and she glanced at the walls, shelves, and desks like a manic squirrel. Her eyes gleamed, and I had the sneaking suspicion that she was making note of what she saw for her own nefarious purposes. Though what they were, I had no idea. <laughs> Rather, I didn't want to know. What's this up? is my... you should not try to think like her. Yeah. 
Go on, go on, take a seat anywhere. I looked to my left and saw boxers lying on the desk chair. Blood shot into my face. Were they... used? Why does it matter? <laughs> PBG followed my gaze and turned red. Uh, uh, it's, uh, let me clean up a bit. <laughs> pigsty. Do they have pigsties in England? <laughs> Everything in America is derivative of England. But, we're in Japan. <laughs> Shane looked at me blankly. <laughs> Man, we're so lucky the OIU has eight player stomp. That, that's, that's we. Yeah, I guess it, so. It's French for yes. Yeah, I know, but that's, that, that, it, that it doesn't sound good. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to crush you, Shane. John John sucks. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's going to happen. Hey. <laughs> Hello, guess who's here? Gerard entered without knocking a bright smile on his face. Hold on, what? Ah, oh, man, Shane got here before me. <laughs> Did you fail to see me leave? Yeah, whatever. I was hoping you were in the bathroom or something. We brought extra controllers. Mm. Does nobody knock around here? Uh... No, why would we? <laughs> To be polite? <laughs> Girls and their ridiculous social constructs. Girls knock less often than guys do. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm gonna call them out on this so hard. Because <laughs> I, I went to um, like a camp back when I was in Girl Guides or whatever back in elementary school. Yeah. And honestly, every single like 10 minutes there was a girl barging into someone else's area like without even thinking about it <laughs> so girl, girls honestly knock less than guys do oh my goodness seriously <laughs> what an intricate knock clattered through the entryway and i pointed towards the door in defiance hmm. see someone knocks good morning hello i brought bagels figured we didn't want a repeat of last year my stomach grumbled and she turned red. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. Ah, that's my husband. What? What? <laughs> You're perfect. You're the best partner anyone could ask for. You are truly the best of us. Can't you just ask for one normally? I brought enough for everyone. Jared leaned his head against Satch's shoulder, then turned to whisper into his ear. I knew I could trust you. <laughs> okay then. Everybody pick a place to sit. We'll hand out bagels and then we'll get started. I scuttled to the side of the room against PBG's bed and next to mine. We'd been sitting with them at lunch, but it wasn't until just now that I realized how crazy having all the normal guy boots guys in one room could be. I mean, this is a lot smaller of an area than a table. This is true. There's there's a lot less space here. Mm -hmm. Nine adolescent men in one room. Not to mention all the friends, all part of the same club. Their personalities mingled in different ways, and I almost couldn't focus over the myriad inside jokes, shouting voices, and foiling limbs. That is, until the character selection screen came on. In the blink of an eye, the controllers were gone. PBG glanced over at me and noticed I didn't have one. Offered me his. Oh, really? I'm not good at these kinds of games. <laughs> There's no way you're worse than me, or Jimmy for that matter. Seeing as he didn't want to take no for an answer, I grabbed the controller and selected my character. Turby! He was cute and bouncy. Even though he didn't seem super powerful, he looked like an easy enough character for a beginner to grasp. Although, there was something in the eyes and beak that seemed a little... Hey now, Cur Turby doesn't look super powerful. Hannah, you need to realize, he has maximum pink. Alright? Uh, the thing <laughs> is, isn't Cur... Yeah. wasn't... Uh, it, it depends on the, the, the Smash. Because this is based on Smash. This yeah. is basically their Smash Bros. ripoff. Yeah. I think there was a point in time in Smash 4 where Kirby was a top tier character, but I, in Smash, I'm not sure in where Smash he sits 64, right now. In Smash 64, he's number two. 
in melee, he's yeah. like bottom. In brawl, he's like mid. I don't know where he is in four. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he was a bit higher for a while, but they nerfed him pretty recently. Yeah. Anyway. I don't know. I, I haven't followed that in a while, though. Yeah, me neither. Is everybody ready? I swallowed hard, the controller already slippery from my sweat. I never played Stomp before, though I watched others do so. I looked at the buttons on the controller, trying to, to guess at what button did what. Uh, one of the top buttons probably jumped. Obviously, the analog stick moved the character. They selected a stage, something with a cute little house and smallish animals bopping around the background. And the countdown began. No doubt animal an crossing. animal crossing. Yeah, animal crossing. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be animal yeah. I, I really wonder what kind of controller they gave her. Yeah, that's true. Too, because, like, if, it, if it's a Wii U ripoff... I feel like they gave her a GameCube controller. Because she talks about the uh, buttons at the top of the controller, and later on I think she mentions the C-stick or something. Okay, yeah, then that's an N60. GameCube. GameCube. Yeah, GameCube, yeah. yeah. I know both of those had a C-stick. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there were buttons on the back that clicked when you hit them, but I didn't know what they did. Three. Oh, there was a weird blue button on the top right, but not on the left. Yeah, that's the Z button. Yeah, that, that's a game. Yeah. That's a game. <laughs> Two. And another analog stick? Was that for the camera? How can we all control the camera at once? You don't. Oh, no. Go. Die, Shane, die. What the hell? Attack everyone, not just me. But you're my mortal enemy! <laughs> Josh, what was that for? I wasn't even fighting you! You're wide open and death waits for no one. You're next. The battle began, and in a display of slight mercy, the boys left me alone to wander the field and get a sense of my character. No, they they probably just don't see you as a threat, Hana. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, you know, <laughs> the effect is the same, though. Yeah. Oh, that... Does jump. I hit the jump button again, and again, and again, watching my character float higher and higher towards the sky. Yeah. I can fly! My joy was cut short as a Noke ball emerged from nowhere and pegged my pink blob in the eye. I fell off the side of the screen, and despite trying to jump back up, it wouldn't let me. I... Ah, look at you. Servi can kind of hover for a while, but eventually he gets too full of air and has to land. Otherwise, he'd be OP. Oh. When in doubt, down B. <laughs> down B? In the commotion of the match, curses and death threats mixing with the, lack, with the clack of controllers. Nobody was listening to what Nick was saying. The key to hitting to getting someone to hear you in this commotion, it seemed, was shouting their name at the beginning of your sentence. Hmm. Gerard! Satch! I followed as my pink little blob fell back onto the map. Following Nick's advice, I hit down B. A cloud appeared around my pink guy, and he became a rock. What? What? I don't understand. What would a rock do? I repeated the move multiple times, always turning into a rock of some sort in the ground, never hurting anyone near me. Suddenly, an explosion rocked the ground, and Turby flew into the air just as I hit down B. No! No! To my surprise, he formed into a rock and fell directly onto John's head. His Nario was sent flying off the screen and died! <laughs> well! You're I... on my list. That works. Yep. <laughs> I'm very sorry. It didn't take long after that for me to die five pitiful, painful deaths. But as my little Turby tumbled off the screen for the sixth and final time, a small surge of pride hit me. Why are they not playing three stock? I mean, Who I plays anything other than three stock. <laughs> well, I mean, I play, I play five stock with items on because that means that you have more chance for luck to go into your favor. Me, me, and my friends always play. Play no items three stock. Oh uh, well, I always play with items. Except on, Smash so. Balls. <laughs> always gotta have Smash Balls. Yeah. Me, me and my friends go hardcore. <laughs> oh, I see. I don't really like playing the game that way. I like playing with items on. <laughs> me too, but my friends don't. <laughs> oh, I see. You got those friends. <laughs> yeah. I got it's, those it's friends fun. too. 
No, it's not, a lot of fun. Yeah, not the Gamer Watchers, though. The Gamer Watchers, we play with items on, typically. Well, it depends. If we're playing 3DS, we play with items, and, like, we, we actually play timed on 3DS, usually. Uh, but I if see. we're playing on the Wii, like, with all of us around, then we play three stock no items. Gotcha. Anyway, I killed John. The John Tron. Even if by accident. I handed my controller to Mai and sat back, completely satisfied. If it weren't for the fact that it was Mai's turn, I'd jump back in, eager to find other strategies for murdering my friends and potentially stirring up a hit list a mile long. So let's hear it. said there were nine normal boots guys, and then there's and two then, of the girls. So that's so, 11 people and it's eight players. So yeah, there's three people that have to sit out at a time. That means yeah. that my uh, PBG Nick. and someone Nick. else... Nick? Nick. Nick was Because he out. was giving Hana advice. Yeah, I guess so. So yeah. I'm that, thinking he wasn't playing if he was maybe. I standing don't know. behind you giving her advice. I've given people advice while playing, but you know, I, I do that. Yeah, but I think that's a little more dangerous in this group. <laughs> True. Anyway. So this was the joy of games. Making people angry? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, hey, why, why else play League of Legends, right? <laughs> <laughs> After playing a few rounds, the official tournament started. People played one-on-one -on -one matches against each other, slowly thinning out the competition over time. Mai went before me and was, rather unfairly, placed paired against Jared. Every blow he doled out to her was, in her mind, some form of actual physical contact. At least, judging by the way she shivered when she uh, was hit, it was. Unsurprisingly, she died almost immediately. Yeah. I was the last person set to go against PBG. The others chuckled as we were passed to the controllers. <laughs> Don't worry, Hana. PBG's the easiest of all of us. You're bound to beat him. Ah, come on, guys. Don't worry, Hana. I'll go easy on you. <laughs> I nodded as PBG picked the most level playing field, a small platform floating out in space. Ah, yes. No items. Kirby only. Final destination. But it's Fox only. Yes, but I mean, you know, she's playing as Kirby. PBG has been shown to play a Kirby game, so I don't know. Maybe he's playing as Kirby. I don't know. The match started, and PBG graciously held his player still. Go ahead and test your moves. I can't remember if they say who. Yeah, I haven't seen it so far anyway. I'm I'm gonna assume that he's playing as Kirby though, because he already played a Kirby game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, that's real nice of you, PBG. Yeah, real nice. I tested my moves while doing so. My hand brushed against the yellow stick. Kirby did a menacing low kick, and my eyebrows raised. That looked powerful. Yeah, Smash is deceptive, though. Some things look really powerful, but they don't do anything. Yeah. So, that's not a good judge of that, Hana. True, but I mean, it is the C-Stick. <laughs> anyway, ready to go? Yeah. I think so. PBG charged at me across the screen, and when he came close enough for me to hit, I pushed the yellow stick in his direction. <laughs> he flew across the screen. My mouth fell open. PBG grinned his teeth. Ugh. I see how it is. No more Mr. Nice Guy, then. I partially doubted that PBG had a non-nice bone in his body, but the match had begun. It was see, a long battle. It's a surprisingly long battle. That's really funny to me, because at the beginning of the game, she straight up thought that he hated her. Yeah. <laughs> we seemed to be evenly matched right up until the very end, when I smashed him off the screen with Turby's hammer. Ugh. What? What? I set the controller down quietly, not particularly happy about having crushed PBG in my second ever match of Stomp. I mean, you didn't crush him. Yeah. You said it was even. True. You P just won in the end. Yep. PBG nodded solemnly. <sighs> I guess I lost then. Whoa! Dang, Anna, that was that was some natural born talent right there. Uh, I don't really think so. <laughs> Anyway, the next match is Shane versus Paul. PG remained quiet for a while after that. It wasn't until the third round that he joined in again, cheering with the rest of the guys. My match rolled around, but this time I was against Jared, and this time I lost in only a few minutes. Yeah. That, that... Why was he all quiet? He just lost. Yeah, 
I don't know. People lose at games all the time. PvG does his PvG things. I mean, I, I lost every game of League that I played today, but oh. I'm not tilted about it because we were playing off meta things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we, we did dumb things. Ah, good. Like, like Jungle Taric, which don't do that. Never do that. <laughs> Ever. Yep. It's bad and wrong and it doesn't work. Illegal. Don't do it. <laughs> At least in the current meta. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I set the controller down again, happy to no longer have responsibility over the life and death of inanimate pixels. As I did so, I saw Paul lean in to whisper something to Shane, whose eyes flew wide open. Then his face shut down. <laughs> over my dead body. Their eyes slid at me and I looked away. They were talking about me, weren't they? I screwed Probably. over to Mai, feeling more comfortable near her than any of the guys. Honestly, in that one, I... I, I feel like they were talking about her. Yeah. Like, usually she's just being paranoid, but I think that one was... She's right. Yeah. We cheered for Jared right up until the very end. He lost to a surprise, uh, supernaturally agile Shade, who was seemingly being fueled by the rage of a thousand demonic toddlers. Everyone, that was a great round! It looks like we're in even better shape than last year. Well, all of us except PBG. PBG just gets no respect. Oh, absolutely none. <laughs> that was uncalled for. Totally deserved. Anyways, I'm tired, so get out of my room, please. <laughs> he grinned broadly, not finding anything wrong with how he summarily dismissed us. <laughs> Mai and I gathered our things and left the room with the others, who, laughing and joking, dispersed in all different directions. Together, we shuffled home. We fell through the doorway exhausted, with barely enough energy to change into our PJs. Mai leaped into her bed with a happy sigh. Oh, oh, oh. Han. Huh? Oh, I, I was accidentally reading her line. Oh. Oh, Hana. I'm so glad you came to Asagao. As if this couldn't have happened without me. Mai shoved her face into her pillow and emitted a muffled reply. I don't know how to properly articulate that. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. I, I think she's saying, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever you say. I fell onto my bed, staring at the rungs that kept mine or mattress from collapsing, collapsing onto me and smothering me to death in the night. That is some dark <laughs> thoughts right there. Yeah, that, that's a happy thought. <laughs> <laughs> that was really fun. Video games are fun, my. Really? She shuffled around on top of her bed. I mean, I thought it was okay. It was passable. I don't know if I'd call it super fun or anything. Really? No? I loved it! <laughs> this... She... Yeah? I, I actually... I'm gonna be totally honest, I have had the same, like, a very similar experience to Hana. Oh, really? Yeah, that that's kind of how I got into gaming, was a couple of guys showed me Pokemon back when I was in elementary school. Ooh. And like all their Pokemon cards and stuff, and they're like, yeah, there's cards and there's this game, and it's really fun. And I was like, oh, okay, that looks cool. Mm -hmm. Except like little tiny person, yeah, but yeah. at least smaller. But <laughs> <laughs> um, it it yeah, I I kind of had the same experience where it was like I had all these friends who were girls who thought it was the kind of dumb mm -hmm. because I mean. We were like nine year old girls, and nine year old girls don't play Pokemon. Nine year old oh, no. girls look at makeup and play with whatever. I'm pretty sure that nine year old <laughs> girls play Pokemon. <laughs> they should. Yes. If they don't, they should. Yes, they but should. But they, I don't know. I, I had kind of a similar experience to, to Hana, and a lot of the people who I actually didn't really get along with for much longer after that we're on my side where it's like oh okay 
that's cool. Yeah. But they they took it to a hey, we hate you because you play video games. Oh, kind of, that's terrible. Instead of being understanding and awesome like my, and I wish that I had someone like that. Instead yep. Of I had. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, she chuckled. Seems like you found your calling. <laughs> I'm sure I have. Above me, my yawn. Let's go to sleep. I'm exhausted. Smiling, I got up and turned out our light. Good night. Night, Hana. Good night, Mai.